Uh, in the previous video, we talked about the concepts of process creation and termination. We also saw about uh, the fork, wait, exec and exit APIs. So in this video, I just wanted to elaborate more on uh, the two terms which we saw in the previous video. One is the zombie process as well as, um, I mean the second one is the orphan process. So I just wanted to elaborate more on these two in this video. So as we saw in the last video, process creation in Unix based systems is done by this fork system call. So whenever a system, uh, whenever a process calls this fork, what happens is basically two processes will be running uh, in parallel. Like whenever uh, a process calls fork, there would be one more process called the child process which gets created. And now once the child process is created, there are two possibilities. Both the parent and the child can run concurrently. And uh, the second one is parent can actually wait for the child to complete. So this we saw in the last video. Now, assuming parent waits for the child. So if parent is waiting for the child, then what happens is child will continue its execution and uh, eventually it will go and call exit. So once the child calls exit, then the, its exit status will actually be returned to the parent. Parent will catch this status and then uh, in the process table, so the entries are actually maintained for every process using uh, the process ID. We can actually identify uh, the contents related to the particular process. So once the child calls exit, this exit status will be returned to the process. Process will get the process ID of the child and then it will actually uh, remove all the traces of that particular child from the process table. So it is the parents job to do this cleaning cleaning up of the entries from the process table. So this is the case when process waits for the child's uh, execution to complete. Now let's see what happens when both the process, uh, both the processes are running concurrently. So if that happens, then, so let's say a parent has called fork. Now there is the parent process running as well as the child process running. Both are running concurrently. Uh, let's assume parent doesn't call wait. So parent is not calling wait, it is continuing its execution. So parent keeps on uh, running and the child is also running, but let's say uh, eventually the child will run and then call exit. So child has called exit. So this is our child process. This is our parent process, but parent hasn't called wait. So it's not uh, waiting for the child's completion or rather it's going to continue its execution. Now, as soon as there is this exit call done, from the child process, it will actually return its exit status to the parent. But since there is no wait call here, this uh, th there is like no uh, process to catch this exit status. So whenever any process calls exit, all the resources which were actually occupied, I mean allocated to that process will be deallocated. But its entry in the process table is still present because that is the parent's job to remove. But since there was no wait call issued by the parent, Whatever status this child returned to the parent, that uh, that gets missed and uh, the process table will still have the entry of the child process. So such a process whose entry is there in the process table and it has actually terminated by calling exit becomes a zombie. So it's like it is dead because it has called exit, but it is kind of alive because its entry is there in the process table. So since it's in both the states like dead and alive, it's kind of... Uh, there in the zombie state is what we usually say. So this is about the zombie process. We'll also discuss about the orphan. So considering the same scenario, like fork has been called. Now we'll have both parent and child running. Now in this case, let's say uh, both are running concurrently and uh, eventually parent will go and call exit. But child is let's say running. It hasn't called any exit. It is going to run. Here, if you see, parent hasn't called wait, but it has called exit in this case. So this is our parent, this is the child. So parent calls exit, there was no wait call. So parent did not wait for the child, but it called exit. Now in this case, parent process has died, but the child is like still running. So in this case, this child process becomes an orphan. So these are the usual terms which we use in order to like, uh, say what a zombie process is in a orphan process is. Now, let's say, uh, what is the next step? Like once a zombie process is created or an orphan process is created, what happens next? Like what happens to these processes? 
So let's say uh, there was the zombie process which got created. So what will happen in case of zombie process is this parent process, whichever uh, I mean, whatever parent process we have, which did not call wait, eventually it will go and call exit. So once this process calls exit, it will die. So this parent process is no more. So now the zombie process will also become an orphan because its parent has died. So eventually all zombies will become orphans. Now what will happen to the orphan process? So what will usually happen is this, these orphans will be adopted. So these will be adopted by some higher level processes basically. Usually uh, all these orphan processes are uh, adopted by the process with PID1. This is your init process in Linux systems. So these are the processes which get created uh, at the very beginning. These will have all your handling, like wait, it will always make sure it calls wait, it, like all the uh, cleaning up and everything will be handled by the <clears throat> init process. So eventually what will happen is all the zombies will become orphans, orphans will be adopted. So this process is called reparenting. Reparenting will be done, all the orphans will be adopted by the init process and they will be handled accordingly. Now let's see what happens when we have uh, a huge number of zombies created. So if there are a lot of zombies created, then what happens and what happens when a huge number of orphans are created. So if you consider the first case, if there are a lot of zombies created, then in that case what, uh, what will happen is this process table will keep on getting uh, filled up. But uh, we have like finite PIDs actually. So once all the PIDs are like taken, once the process table is like completely uh, filled, then there won't be any uh, entry left which we can add into this uh, process table. That means we cannot create any process. So that is the problem when we have a lot of uh, zombies created. Now what would happen if a lot of orphans are created? Now we saw that all orphans will eventually get adopted by the init process. So if there are a lot of orphans created, then it will actually lead to overloading the init process, which is again uh, bad. So this will also lead to slow, slowing down your uh, system basically. So there is one more term just wanted to mention there is this term called fork bomb. So this is nothing but uh, let's say there was an infinite loop and in this loop all you were doing is calling fork. So what would happen in this case is there is no wait call here. So parent whatever parent process is calling this it will keep on resulting into uh, creation of a child process. So child will again call fork that will again call one more fork. So this will keep on going. And since there is no wait process there, so what will happen is uh, there would be a lot of zombies created. So since there are a lot of zombies created, this entire table will uh, get filled and uh, the only way to like come out of this would be to reboot your system basically. So this is one term which I just wanted to highlight. There is a four bomb term. Okay, so this is it about uh, zombies and orphans. So zombies are uh, pe processes which die but they are alive in the process table. They have their entries in the process table. Orphans are basically those processes whose parents have uh, terminated.